is that? What is that? You want to know what it is? I will tell you right now what it is. Alfred. Alfred. If I've looked weird in videos for the past couple days, it's because I'm literally operating. My sleep schedule is absolutely banjaxed. I think I've been averaging about three or four hours a night, and for whatever reason, I just can't sleep. So if I look like a zombie, which I feel like I'm looking like right now, I know it. I also committed the cardinal sin in the Armenian Messi episode, yeah, a.k.a. the Mikatarian epi. I didn't say Vafankula to start the epi, so I might not have a San Pellegrino, but I do have a nice coffee. I love Duncan, guy. That's a wicked drink, bro. Testing, testing, one, two. What's up, boys, and welcome to the storyline Alfred, Alfred Duncan, Dick. aka the free mid Ezian Players Wave You Episodia. Uh, we were streaming a few days ago, and you guys brought to my attention that I was nearing this Duncan card, and lo and behold, I've gone ahead, I got the XP required for it, uh, and we now have ourselves the easiest decision I've ever made at the level 15 player, and that is getting the Duncan. I haven't gotten a 100 XP player since, I don't know when, I think it was last year. Uh, there aren't any guys outside of Pulisic that I'm really, really interested in getting. We may try to grind him, but this Duncan, level 15, looks like an absolute dub if you compare him to not only mid-87 Ezian, who goes for 500,000 coins, he actually exceeds and destroys a lot of his stats uh, on the value on the 87, but even if you compare him to the 90-rated uh, uh, Ezian card, he compares very favorably to him as well. The reason that uh, this Duncan card might be good for uh, for the Serie A boys is when, and finally, uh, hopefully, if that Frank Ribery card uh, comes alongside maybe a flashback uh, flashback Frank Ribery card, he will get the green link into this Duncan card. So that is, I feel like, a reason that a lot of people are executing and getting this Duncan card done on their uh, on their RTGs or their main squads or whatever, what have you. Boys, like I always say, if you guys do enjoy the episode, I have a feeling you guys are going to love this one because it's kind of like one that flies under the radar. Not everyone has him, and some of you guys may be approaching the level 15 player, and we're going to showcase today why he might be the guy uh, for you to select. Smash like on the video if you guys do enjoy the episode. Is. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button down below. Now, it's a massive upgrade over his silver card. He's got 2,340 total in-game stats. Ezian's 87 card has 2,275. So he actually blows this card out of the water. Has better pace, uh, has better dribbling, has the same defending, has minus one physical, has better passing, has better shooting. And uh, while the Ezian does have the four-star weak foot, this Duncan card, just for a free card, for a level 15 card, looks absolutely cracked. You get the three-star, three-star, Medium high, he's 5'10", he's got himself 88 acceleration with 79 sprint speed, 99 shot power with 93 long shots. Let me repeat that again. 99 shot power with 93 long shots. He's got some decent passing stats. He's not going to be, you know, he's not going to be Iniesta or Xavi. Uh, he's got some pretty good dribbling stats for a defensive-minded, uh, sort of like box-to-box -box possibly. Um, if we get the finishing jacked off a little bit. He's got 87 composure, defensive stats, 89 interceptions with 91 standing tackle. Um, and then he's also got defensive awareness, 83 goes up to 88 with the uh, with the anchor chem style. And then has 84 stamina, goes up to 90 strength and 98 aggression with no real traits to speak of. Outside of just looks hella super OP, better than mid Ezian, better than prime Ezian. But uh, we're going to take this card into a couple games. Of course, we're going with the storyline Tello on the other side. He was the level 15 player in the previous season. We've got the Frank Yannick Kessie. I wanted to use Barella, but I haven't used this Tello yet, and I want to give him a try. And we also uh, want to showcase this untradeable Frank Yannick Kessie. This is my RTG. I'm going to run with a 4 5 1 2. Haven't used this formation yet. We're going to have Kessie in the middle. We're going to have Duncan out as like an LCM, Tello as an RCM, with Eto as the lone striker up top. Very excited to see how this formation plays. Going to have uh, Duncan on balanced. In the match number one with the cheap, or really the free Ezian. Match number one, Los Gates. Packer cunts. Just trying to get a couple games here, Sam. Alfred. Alfred. Samuel Eto with the finesse. Did you wait? Hold on. Samuel Eto so damn saucy on the sticks. A lot of you guys have been asking me about my thoughts on the baby uh, on the baby Eto. He's he's about to be my most capped player possibly in uh, FIFA 21 history. Um, 
for the remainder of FIFA 21, I'm he's gonna be he's gonna be a fixture in the squad. I'm I'm planning on having probably around 15 to, probably 1500 2000 caps from by the end of FIFA 21. Alfred, bro, he feels super super agile, dude. Nice, uh, nice little outside the foot uh, pass from from Donkey. Yep, yeah, got him. Got him! That's gonna be 2-0. Come on, lads. Eto fish! The Eto fish dead fish, boys. Uh, by the way, gonna be uh, blasting uh, some stream champs later tonight. Gonna be unlocking the Sync Raven. I think we have six games left to unlock the Sync Raven. I'll do a, I, I'll do a, try to get a player's way view out before Team of the Year kicks off. Um, so we basically have tomorrow and Friday to get that done before Team of the Year. And people are, we know that the team the team is being announced on the 22nd, 100%, which is Friday. But um, we're not 100% sure if the team is going to be available on Friday. Some people are speculating that it actually, while it'll be announced on Friday, it won't be available in packs until Monday, possibly. Eto's just, uh, he's just, Eto's just cut from a different cloth, boys. Eto's legitimately just cut from a different cloth. A little Burba spin, a little body faint, and then a rip. He's the best! And that's why Manuel Neuer's the GOAT. Alfred. Duncan. Yeah, he's right. He's uh, he's left-footed. Alfred. Yeah, there's there's Duncan on one of the strongest players in the game. Alfred. Love that. See, look at Duncan tracking back. Alfred. Yo. He's got an absolute cannon, boys. He has got an absolute cannon. Alfred. Okay. Alfred Duncan finally begs with it. It's the Munchkin shot. Alfred Duncan, take a bow, son. Defensively, scored a goal, 9.4. Uh, didn't provide an assist, 9.4. Tackles won 2 out of 4. Dribbles completed 33 out of 42. And was an absolute unit. And you guys know what we got to do. We got to check out that Alfred, du Alfred Duncan goal. So this is a layoff to Samuel Eto. Uh, and then he sends it over to the boy... Is that is that Taylor? No, that's uh, Gerard Deliafeo. Gerard Deliafeo over to Duncan. And that's his right foot, bro. That's not even a strong foot. Alfred. Kleiber and Rijkaard just doing some sort of like, uh, Kleiber and Rijkaard doing some sort of like Dutch ballet, dude. I'll touch your blue boot and then you touch my other boot. <laughs> I mean, Duncan has been just absolutely out of this world and I love his, his work rates. He's just a rock. You know, he's got the medium high, so he doesn't, he's not, he's not gonna get any, he's not gonna go, go any further than you want him to. Like, ready? See, I did the pass off there. Duncan again. Nice. Nice pass back. Alfred. He. Okay. Is he Salta FC? He might, yo, he might be out of here, boys. <laughs> dude. Dude, we've scored... Wait, dude, you're not supposed to be able to score long shots in FIFA 21. Yo, Dunkey, my guy. Saucy. That's a saucy goal. Nothing, nothing really I could have done against that. That was the perfect pass. And then Kylian Mbappe hits me with the creeper. He was... What is going on?
There's Duncan. Getting the ball back. Eto. Oh, that's the finishing. I should have shot right. Duncan did everything we asked of him there, dude. That's our bad. That's my fault. If there's one thing that Duncan can't do, it's inside inside the box. Finishing is going to be a little bit sus, obviously. The Samuel Eto finesse. Come on, hey, who is that? Oblak? Okay, fair. And if, if there's going to be a keeper in game that saves that, I'm I'm fine with. I'm fine if it's Oblak. Alfred Duncan, boys, in the nine minutes of the game. Alfred Duncan goes ahead. Somehow, strength glides. That's that's the only way that I could describe that skill move. He strength glides through one of his defenders and executes a finesse as only he could with his left foot. Again. If, if there's one thing that you're gonna, if there's one thing that's a little bit sus with the card, it's the fact that he's just not gonna have great finishing inside the box. Outside the box, no problem. He's literally, he just bleeds for the club. Oh, it's an absolute... Alfred Duncan. Absolute mad thing. What else needs to be said? Defensive masterclass. Distance banger massive class. We, uh, masterclass. We get ourselves two goals with Alfred Duncan. Um, and then he does 7 out of 15. 7 out of 15 tackles one. If that doesn't show you that this guy's just put in an absolute shift, I don't know what is. All right, boys, so there you have it. Alfred Duncan, I don't think there's anything else I can say that hasn't been showcased in the episode. Again, ridiculous, ridiculous dribbling, um, distance shooting, at least with the left foot. He doesn't have a weak foot to speak of, but he does have the 99 shot power, has 93 distance shooting, and it is just a ridiculous card for an 83 rated, and I feel like he's one of these cards that's going to even be able to hang with the current power curve. I am going to give it a perfect 5 out of 5. The reason being, you're going to get this card done just on on its own you're not even gonna have to try and do the xp at some point you're just gonna unlock this card on the pitch performance i gotta give the lad four out of five was just absolutely bossing it out did everything we asked of him that's gonna do it for the episode of boys the alfred duncan epi uh probably not one that you guys asked for but one i'm really happy i did because i'm sure a lot of you guys are gonna choose between you know a lot, a lot of you guys have already chosen duncan or are uh, considering possibly getting him among the other two um storyline cards and i'm not even sure who they are to be honest with you hey let's go ilkay gunduan with the free kick 2-0, Manchester City are up in 90 plus 2, uh, which means that that Mahrez is going to get upgraded into, uh, is going to get upgraded to an 88. You love to see it, and I think it gets upgraded in a couple, uh, in a few days. But anyway, boys, that's going to do it for the episode here. Smash like if you guys did enjoy. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button down below. I will catch you guys for another upload tomorrow. Till next time, my bros. Tschüss. Later. Ade.